How are we doing today? Well, summer has arrived in the desert. Holy cats, is it hot out here. Today it's, well, the thermometer on the car is 110. <laughs> 110. Oh my gosh. So I haven't been taking many photographs out in the desert lately because it's hotter than blazes out there. Plus, I, <laughs> the job I have, they're trying to kill me. The hours we're working is insane. So, <sighs> But I've got a trip planned for next week. I'm going up to Payson to spend some time in the woods. I took a few, I'm going to take a few days, and I'm going to go play around in the woods. So I'm taking my camera gear and some camping stuff, and maybe we'll get some decent footage up there. But what this week's video is about is I had somebody ask me the other day, about how to get a sunburst or a sun star effect sunburst in your photographs. How do you do that? I posted some pictures a while back. I've taken many of them. And uh, they asked me, how do you get that effect where the sun looks like it's all those rays coming out of it? Well, it's a very simple technique, but there's a few things you got to know before you get started. Uh, the first thing you got to know is that uh, it all depends on the aperture that you have your lens set to. The, the bigger the F number, the smaller the aperture, the smaller the diameter of the hole is that the light comes through. So what works best for those sunburst shots is like F16 to F22. That is a very small diameter uh, in, the, in the lens. And the light comes through there and uh, refracts, I guess, off the blades of the of the of the lens, the aperture of the lens, and that's what creates that effect. So aperture is really important. F16 to F22 will give you that, that, that star effect on the sun. The second thing you got to know is it works best in when the skies or the air is clear. Um, when the sun is blocked by the, a cloud or hazy skies or smoke in the sky or whatever, the effect can be diminished. So if you have clear, sky, uh, clear air, clear skies, it works great. Um, the other, the other uh, thing that you need to, to know to make this, this project or these, these uh, photos turn out the way you want is to have the sun as small as possible. Well, how the heck we do that? <laughs> if the sun is peeking behind something, like a tree branch or a cactus or a rock outcropping, the side of the house, whatever it is, and it's lower in the sky as it gets down towards the horizon, it gets smaller. So the smaller the sun is, the better the, the effect will be. But you can still get awesome pictures, even if the sun is high in the sky. I've done it many times. You still you still get the great effect. Just watch your shutter speed, because your exposure is really important. You don't want to blow out the sun and just have a white a white picture. So uh, watch your exposure. Check your uh, f sixteen f twenty two clear skies, and then the last thing I would the last tip I would give you would be to get creative. Um, Use objects to have that sun peek out from the side of it. If the cactus is standing like this and the sun is back here, position yourself so that sun is just breaking the plane of that edge of that. Or through the leaves of a tree or branches of a tree or anything like that. Get creative with your composition so you can utilize all the other factors that go into making this, this image the way you want to, to get the effect that you want. And then get creative to uh, to amplify that, to really to really send your viewer's eye to what you want to see. It's a really cool effect, and I love doing it. And it, it it's really not that difficult to do. And it'll just it'll just up your photography game a little bit if you have that little idea in your back pocket when you're out out and about taking pictures. So stay tuned. Next week I'm heading for Payson. And whatever the weather does, I'm going. So uh, it's been a long time since I've been up there, and I'm going next weekend. All right. You guys get out and take some pictures. If you get some pictures of sunbursts and, and you know, those um, awesome sunburst shots, 
Tag me on Instagram. Send them to me. I'd love to see them. All right, guys. See you later.